Yo, 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 what is going on you guys? I'm Easy back again with another video and this is actually my 100th video. And today, I got another review for you. So, today we are going to be reviewing the Dainese Tempest waterproof winter gloves. They have a fleece liner, the left thumb has the wiper blade, uh, hard knuckles of course, well your first set of knuckles, your finger knuckles are soft, but these do go all the way up your wrist, they, are, they go over your jacket. And a couple guys on the website, um, reviews from people who work at Dainese, a couple of them said that they ride in 35 degree weather and their hands feel fine. So we are going to test that out today. It was 35 degrees, but now it's 55. I'm pretty sure these are going to be able to handle 55. No problem. I ride to work in about 30 to 40 degree weather, but it's only a 10 minute ride. <clears throat> so I'm going to get up early tomorrow and test how long I can withstand the cold. Today I'm going to do it at 55 and I think I'll be fine all day, but we'll see. I ran out of tape, so I got to ride to, to Home Depot or Lowe's to get some more Gorilla Tape. Taped up my, my adapter, should be good to go. I'm going to try to do an hour ride for right now at 55 degrees and I'm going to do an hour ride tomorrow at somewhere in the 30s. It smells like burnt. That's IHOP. They in there burning stuff at IHOP. Oh, they let me go. Alright, so I'm like four minutes into the ride, and I'm cool. Yeah, let's just go on a fucking ride, dude. Take you guys on a fucking ride, dude. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Woo! I just looked down and didn't see my phone on my quad lock. Scariest shit ever. It's in my pocket though. Make sure that shit zipped up. You guys want to see some fuck dude? Show you guys some fuck dude. Yeah, it's going to be super cold in the morning. But by after, we're like in it, we're, well, it's winter. But, you know. <laughs> Pennsylvania doesn't really play by the rules, so, and Phil said we have an early spring. Phil is a mystical groundhog that has the power to control the weather. I don't know if any other states do that, but Phil said it's, it's springtime. We're ready for spring. Oh, that was scary. they do here I wanted to do a photo shoot with TMI but this is a busy road and I can never get here at a time where it's not busy. Okay, I'm actually 15 minutes in and I can feel my fingers starting to get a slight chill, actually. So, you know, I mean, you could do it, but everybody's gonna be a little bit different. You know, your uh, heat tolerance or your resistance to cold. But for me, I fucking hate the cold. So, 
Uh, yeah, 15 minutes in and I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Like I said, I wouldn't really say I'm cold, but I can definitely feel the temperature change on my fingers. And it's not as comfortable as it was when I first started riding today. They still have to have all the employees there to maintain it while they shut it down, which is gonna take like a century. But, you know, we don't need it, I guess. You know, you could look out the window at, at my school when I was a kid and you would see the steam from Three Mile Island and it just seemed like another cloud in the sky. It's crazy that I'll never, you know, never see that again. I used to buy fruit from this stand right here, Red Hill Farm. They open back up in the spring, definitely come check it out. Whoa, beautiful view. Man, check that out. I hope you guys can see that. I'm definitely turning around and coming back down this street. I'm actually just trying to turn around. It's been 20 minutes since I left Lowe's. I'm in a completely different city now. But, uh, yeah, I can feel my hands starting to get a little... I'm not going to say cold, but we'll say cool. I definitely feel it on my feet. These boots are not made for winter at all. But, did that sign just say tree crossing? What the fuck does that mean? But, um, yeah. I don't know if I, if I could ride with these in cold temperatures for longer than maybe an hour or so. Dang, look at that. Beautiful TMI. Yeah, so I don't know if I would uh, be able to ride with these in temperatures colder than, so like I said, right now it's 55 degrees and I've been on, I mean, I rode two lows. That took five minutes. And then I rode here and that took another 20 minutes. Well, we're not even going to count the first five minutes because I was in lows after that and then I definitely warmed up or, you know, I wasn't even cold, but you get what I'm saying. 20 minutes in and I'm feeling the weather. They are not as weatherproof as I would like them to be. I bought them for winter and 58 degrees is not really our typical winter here in Pennsylvania. There's usually like three feet of snow on the ground. Well, not as of like the last two years. We did just have a little snowstorm, uh, what, like two weeks ago. But, you know, it was only, I don't know, like six inches or something like that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle it with these gloves on in 35 degree weather tomorrow morning. All right, yeah, now I'm actually getting cold. My arms, I feel it. I didn't, I don't have as many layers on as I normally would. That was a dead animal I just ran over. That was the police we just passed. Yeah, man, hands are getting real icy, dog. We are 25 minutes into the ride. And I think, yeah, like when I get home, I'm going to be, my hands are going to be like, I'm going to be shivering. I'm not going to be shivering, but you, you know what, I, I'm going to be, you know, so cold that I could be shivering. The hell is that? That car fucking stinks. Jeez, man. What is this thing? Is it a Pinto? Please don't let it be. If anybody knows what the name of this car is in front of me, put it in the comments, please. Try to stay back so I can get a side shot. Is 
Is that an Omni? What is that? Was that a Dodge Omni? Maybe I'll put that R6 throttle tube on tomorrow. Sheesh. Wind is crazy. It's even crazier down here. 35 minutes in, my hands are legit cold. I have a, I hate the cold. Don't get me wrong. But I do think I have a slightly increased tolerance to the cold due to my job. I don't think the normal person would be comfortable riding like this at 55 degrees in the Tempest D-Dry Dineasy Gloves. Tell me right now, right now, put it in the comments. What is your prediction for uh, 35 degree weather? How long do you think it will be before I get cold? I'm calling it 10 minutes. I think we are gonna hit the hour mark. And I do think I am going to be extremely cold. It would suck if I was making a time lapse again. Oh yeah, that felt not good. My hand is really cold. That's pretty much why I got off the highway. Some of you guys might have to be on the highway an hour for work. So if I can't do it at 40 miles per hour, then there's no way I'd be able to do it at 60 to 90. I have never fucking been down this road <laughs> on my bike. Fuck! Oh my god. This is like fucking. Ooh. Oh. 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 God damn it. This is a lady on my ass the whole time. Old lady. Like, what are you doing? So, yesterday, my camera actually died when I was like almost home but uh yeah after about an hour my hands were pretty much useless to me it hurt to um like squeeze the levers and stuff like that I I do think I could have went probably like another 45 minutes if I absolutely had to I don't know what type of situation you'd be in where you absolutely had to keep riding but um yeah when i got home took off my gloves a couple of my fingers were like turning white throw up a picture of the discoloration here uh phil actually is not even allowing us to see freezing temperatures so it's 41 degrees and, but it feels like 39, so take that for what it's worth. But yeah, we're just gonna go on another ride. I know I'm not gonna be able to handle an hour today. It is like 15 degrees cooler than it was yesterday. I would've went out tomorrow, but it's gonna be fucking like 60 degrees. And also these gloves, what I like about them, they're pretty thin, so you don't have to uh, worry about not being able to reach any of your controls and they honestly feel pretty pretty much the same thickness as like normal gloves like i don't have a problem hitting my turn signals or anything i'm not going to turn them on or my horn
seven bucks. Fucking nice. The gas prices go down? I don't fucking know. My hands, I can already feel the cold, but that's probably because I was just pumping gas. Cause my left hand isn't that cold. Yeah, I can already tell. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna last long, guys. I'm calling it like a half hour max. But oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the the price of these gloves. So I was um I saw them on Revzilla and uh, Cycle Gear for around a hundred dollars, ninety to a hundred dollars, but. Uh, yeah, as you know, anything that's popular or good on Rever, I mean, not Rever, on Revzilla or Cycle Gear sells out like fucking immediately. So, I, um, wasn't able to order them there, or at least they sell out in all the good sizes. So, I had to order them straight from Dine Easy, which means I had to pay full price which was $140, but they had a, a thing, you know, sign up and you get $20 off eight, or I forget how much off it was. It had to be more than that. I guess it was like $30 off because I had to pay for shipping and the total came to 120. So yeah, that's what I paid for these. Are they worth $120? think probably I mean my other gloves are for like $60 and they don't provide any protection from the weather we are five minutes in like I said my right hand is feeling it because it was out pumping gas my left hand is pretty cool though if you combine these with those like things that the like guard that goes over your whole handlebar I think you'd be in business but on their own yeah man I'd say 50 degrees is probably the limit for like a good ride quick ride yeah you could definitely do you could do some lower temperatures but you are going to feel the cold it won't be as cold as, you know, it would be if you didn't have these on. But you're still going to feel it a little bit, for sure, on those quick rides. And the road I'm about to go down, I feel like it's going to get kind of technical. Going right now at 50, I can definitely feel my the wind breaking through that, that left glove. So it's not gonna be as technical as I want it to be because we got this explorer in front of us. Oh the explorer is fucking moving. Going 40 back here, birthday party.
that was fun. I think we're 15 minutes in. My hands, not like what they feel right now. All right, I'm gonna put myself into that situation where I'm gonna absolutely have to, you know, where I'm gonna absolutely have to keep riding. Definitely give it a fucking like and a subscribe. I haven't had much time to make any videos, so, you know, had to do what I had to do. Also, I forgot how fucking taxing this shit is on your fucking body. Jesus Christ, I'm getting a cruiser. Yesterday, when I got home, I just sat down, or I had to lay, I was laying down like all goddamn day. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. My back just hurt so bad. Okay, hands are seriously getting cold now. Yeah, my hands are cold. They're like legit cold. I don't even know if I should get on the highway. I've literally come too far now to turn back. It's too cold for the highway, guys. 40, 41 degrees, feels like 39. It's probably even a little warmer than it was when I initially left. But uh, 20 minutes into the ride and my hands are at the point where I'm like, are we getting, are we there yet? Why did I come out here for YouTube? Oh man, my hands are cold. Nah, I can't. I'm gonna get frostbite or something. Can't risk the safety. Hands cold. Should not have went this far from home. Can't wait to get home. We'll see what these fucking hands are looking like. It's not gonna be pretty. Feel like even let yesterday, <clears throat> in the uh when i took my gloves off i didn't think to take a picture until maybe like five minutes after so they were a little warmed up but you can still see the discoloration and i think it's my middle finger and like ring fingers on both hands so today we should see a larger discoloration throughout um throughout both of my hands yep hand is really cold now I'm, I'm a lot closer to home than I was before I think I should be there maybe in like seven minutes so in three minutes I've been on this ride for a half hour and that was the point where I said you know that I would I would probably be too cold to continue and I kind of am already at that point but I put myself in that situation where I have to ride and it's gonna be probably another 10 minutes before I'm able to make it back home to warmth and safety. That was pretty crazy. Is that a hawk? A falcon? See what them fingers are looking like we'll have a comparison video i mean not a video but a comparison shot of the hands yesterday versus today side by side 55 degrees versus 41 degrees big bump man i'm telling you i cannot wait to be home yeah i'm at that point where uh fingers are hurting why do i torture myself please please guys Subscribe, man. Put my hands on the line for y'all. The Dainese Tempest D Dry Long Cuff Waterproof, Weatherproof, <laughs> Windproof, Waterproof Gloves. We'll see if Phil was actually, you know, telling the truth. He's never been, uh, you know, so accurate before. I actually made a meme about him in the past, but. 
I mean, he's he's pretty on point this year. That's it, guys. Um, would I buy these gloves again? Probably. I really don't see any other better options. If you guys know some, please let me know. If besides like heated gloves, uh, yeah, are they worth $140? Probably, uh, yeah, there's no, I, I haven't had any gloves that I think would withstand uh, 40 degree weather at 40 miles an hour like this before. So, yeah, I do think they are probably worth 100 to 100 Forty dollars or whatever you have to pay for them definitely don't pay over $140 for them but if you can get them on sale or with a coupon or something definitely do that uh, next winter I will be looking into heated options and yeah that's it that's all I got for you guys today thanks for watching make sure you leave a like a comment subscribe down below we're having a giveaway when we get to 500 subscribers and we are literally right around the corner. I'm, it's probably gonna happen in the next couple months. So, yeah, go ahead, get that in. Cash giveaway, go now! <laughs> it's like, no, all right, peace, guys.